Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum everyone in today video in this new video I am going to explain I am going to teach you A to Z that how you can do a KYC for any application like Binance Coinbase, Monzo, Pioneer, Revolvet or any application okay or any website this right here if you see if you can see this right here is my real android pun which i connected here okay this is pixel 5 as you can see it's google pixel 5 so in this video i'm going to teach you from a to z if you watch the video very carefully then you will understand otherwise not okay so first of all right here you have to connect your phone with pc so if you need the tools where you can connect your phone to pc you can contact me my uh, contact info is in my description okay after that you need one emulator you can use memo emulator you can use blue stack 5 or you can use any emulator okay it doesn't matter you can use any emulator once again i'm asking you can use any emulator okay first of all what you have to do is you have to spoof the camera of your android device i have many methods even for pc if you don't want to use a phone you can also get a method for that okay but if you want to use a phone with your pc with emulator or without emulator so you can also use this method okay first of all i want to show you the camera if i open the camera right here as you can see the camera is spoofed now what i am going to do is i'm going to remove the spoofed from the camera okay uh, go to data and go to files if you do this process what i'm doing right now in my files it will not work for you because you don't have bypass for camera application okay you must need a bypass it's it's known a shell code kyc okay as you can see it's my live camera right here okay so what i am going to do is simply turn off the camera and now i have to remove the camera from the background and right here i'm going to copy any picture or on any image in my uh, folder for example i want to copy this right here this is the video so i can copy this one okay let's copy this one okay if i copy this video now this is the step what i am showing after the bypass now if you thinking why i'm not showing you the bypass because it's also for my channel safety it's also a private bypass so i'm i cannot show you a bypass live here i already activated the bypass in the background and as you can see when i put any image or any video in my folder the camera is spoofing successfully so you must need a bypass file okay you can contact me for bypass file also the first thing you can contact me for these tools and you can also contact me for the bypass files okay now we are going to do is simply go to the any emulator for example if you are using emulator you must have to go to the emulator go to the devices settings and from here you have to select the obs camera okay when you select the obs camera now here i'm going to show you for example i open this is my recording so i'm not going to use it here i'm going to open a new obs right here the new obs is launching okay now i'm going to here disable this one and now uh, start virtual camera okay and uh, let's suppose just enable it okay because i don't have anything in other obs so that's why now open the camera and check if the obs is properly working or not okay so you can see my obs is not working okay it's not working first of all if you see this kind of issues if the obs is not working with you you must have to uninstall the obs reinstall it and then after that you have to check the update for example come here on help and right here uh, update check for update okay so when you check for update your obs will be up to date and still if that not working what you have to do is simply there will be a problem it can be a problem with your blue stack you must have to reinstall and then install a uh, blue stack okay so here 
for example if everything is good now you can see here again come here and open the camera okay and when you open the camera you can see it's not working again so right here what we have to do is simply it's not working okay so uh, what you have to do is first of all it will work for you it's not working for me because i just changed something randomly and because of that it's not working now uh, so that's why you have to be careful now as you can see this is my real camera which is open of my laptop you understand so here go to the settings go to the devices and then change your camera to obs and then save it okay so when you save it your obs must have to appear here okay you can check my more videos the obs camera was working at my obs so in my blue stack so when the blue stacks uh, when the camera start working inside blue stack then you can easily use this spoofed camera for example these documents you can use inside the blue stack easily okay and also you can do any application kyc also you can do any website kyc so if you need any help according to these things you can contact me as you can see the quality okay you can see the quality it's good 100 percent good okay so any application or any uh, verification where if on fedo or z forensics or any website security website will not detect it so this is how actually you can do it so in this short video i just want to show you these all things i hope you guys understand and if you need any help as i already asked you you can contact me and also the important thing is this video is only for education purposes i'm not responsible for anything i'm sharing this knowledge with you only for education purposes if you are using it for bad way i'm not responsible for that okay so you can contact me if you need any help see you in the next video take care allah is